Hey everyone, I know when you make a response to a particular YouTuber twice in the span of only a month, it seems like you have some serious vendetta against them, but trust me, that isn't the case. This is just a video I want to make to just clarify a couple things. So Beansprout made another video where he elaborated on the supposed Doomtuber problem, which I, in my opinion doesn't really exist to begin with, where he uh, talked about different Doomtubers he discovered that he found put in legitimate effort. Now before I elaborate any further, I just want to clarify that this video is made as and is intended to be viewed as constructive criticism. I enjoy the content most of the YouTubers in this video make and the Beansprout's content itself, I just want to try and explain a different standpoint and try to give a different perspective on the matter, but potentially also tell Beansprout how he can improve his stance or just however he's communicating his point so we can try and unify the community a bit more. Now I am aware I'm putting myself on a sort of high horse by making this video which I'm not very proud of, but I also made the two exact same videos of the span of the last two days so you can disregard everything I say. <laughs> So first and foremost, there's been something I want to bring up ever since this quote-unquote drama started, and that's that effort as a whole is a very subjective thing that depends person to person. You can't have someone make a 15 minute long lore video where they explain the primevals and the connection they have with the Dark Lord and the Father and the Doomslayer and any potential ancient gods which Hugo has alluded to in the streams, but you can also make a video like Siler, where you absolutely shred a marauder in a matter of three seconds with absolutely no editing in the video itself whatsoever. Now of course, both of these videos are very different. One targets an audience which is more interested in the lore of Doom and has a bit more editing and presentation into it, and probably took a considerable amount of time to make considering its length, but one also plays to a more meme side of the community, but also the ones who care about improving their skills, but has absolutely no editing whatsoever. But fundamentally, both of these videos took effort to make. In the former video described, there will be a lot of effort put into the editing and researching the different amounts of lore you need to pick up on to create an actual video. However, the latter video took a considerable amount of effort to make too, even though it's more meme in nature. Look at the sheer amount of damage falters the player has to set up here in order to get this combo just right and timing them all perfectly to get the quick kill. This discrepancy on how effort is recognized is making me just feel very concerned about how this argument could be viewed as elitist. How effort is organized is different from person to person, and ultimately the only thing that really matters is whether or not they enjoy themselves while making it. Even some shorter meme videos which get a lot of traction have a lot of effort put into them, just in different ways, tons of different editing tricks, the idea in the first place. The effort is there, and it's being presented, it's just not being presented in a way that you'd be more accustomed to. Which just makes this whole argument feel kind of pointless in the first place. Of course it's disheartening to see some random unedited game clip get tons more views than your well thought out video that you put hours into making. <coughs> Ultimate humor! <coughs> but to be frank, that's just a problem that's existed with YouTube forever, and it's not something that you can easily make go away, unfortunately. Now, besides the implications of the title of the video itself, I really don't have many problems with it. It's well put together like pretty much all of Beansprout's videos. Videos. But this is just one other problem that I had with it that I didn't really see many people talk about in the comments, surprisingly enough. I know that before you get into the meat and potatoes of the video, you state the following. Not all of these content creators are smaller than me, so do expect to see some larger content creators on this list. Well, for the most part, all of these content creators seem to be big enough names in the community. Plenty of people are aware of names like Edong, Doom Penguin, Night Owl, and Anvil Gaming. The only YouTuber you name which has a significantly small following is Venom's Frenchie. I'm not trying to throw shade at these other creators, I think that they do great work, and they could use some more subscribers, definitely, but it just sucks that this video wasn't really used as an opportunity to showcase smaller creators who fit this concept of effort that you want to go along with in this video instead. Folks like Boof and Schmooze, Vintage Pickle, and Sombro Requiem to name a few. So before I wrap up, I do want to apologize in case anything I said came across as the opposite as what I wanted it to be recognized as, which is constructive criticism and realizing how this whole doom tuber problem is ultimately just pointless. So I'm going to end the video on a positive note. Just that people make content that they like making 
and have fun doing it. It doesn't matter if it's a meme that lasts 10 seconds or a fully comprehensive lore video that lasts 10 minutes. So long as you're not being an asshole, there's a room for everyone in the Doom community. I think that we should all respect that. Your way of expressing yourself in a video might be different to someone else's way, but nevertheless, it all takes effort, heart, and soul. All the figures and digits that come along with it, the viewing counts, the likes, the subscriptions, they're just menial ultimately. And if they're the reasoning behind you investing time into something that you love, then you're already starting off on the wrong footing. Just do what you like and roll with it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all around. I'm gonna come. Um.